Welcome back to another episode of Z Beauty Channel, where I'm your hostess, Jane. If you're new here, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe down yeah, below so you don't miss out when I upload new videos such as this one. If you want to know, the tea of the day that I'm drinking is hibiscus tea. Oh, you caught me looking it up. So I'm going to tell you the benefits of hibiscus tea. It supports healthy blood vessels. It can um, help maintain healthy blood pressure. If you have hypertension, it regulates the blood sugar and the lipids levels, boosts the immune system, supports brain health. We need that. Regulates menstrual, um, slowly excessive blood bleeding and ease cramps. So if you're a heavy bleeder, drink some hibiscus, babe. Um, also, it acts as an aphrodisiac. Mm -hmm keep that on a low but if you know you know yeah reveals uh i mean i'm talking about reveals excuse me relieves pain from utis um and high in vitamin c and antioxidants rich love that this girly is the one how i fit, like to fix my hibiscus tea i usually use it with some limes some key limes um and i put some honey and i drink it on cold water and let it steep i don't usually heat up my teas unless it's like a herbal tea or like you know the herbal teas like lavender chamomile like something like that that they help me just ease to go to bed i usually during the day i keep my tea kind of cold like hibiscus um lavender tea like really soft herbal teas i like to just put them on like nice cool water i already prepped my face off camera today is a very soft chill day because that's just how i'm feeling you know what i'm saying and we just go with the feel we just go with the vibes over here today i'm feeling very soft and mellow so if you hear music in the background it's like hopefully y'all don't hear it that much because i ain't got time to be getting copyrighted so yeah but anyways so i did go in with my um laboratories um, moisturizer and i use my elf power primer um these are my two top primer i will always use these to moisturize and prep my face before any application i just feel like it gives me a flawless application also my little secret that i like to go in and do is i also like to go in with my nyx professionals so I like to go in with my NYX Professionals Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh. I absolutely love this setting spray because this setting, setting spray is very lightweight and it's very good just for sealing and setting in makeup before you go in and build any type of layers on top of it. I absolutely really love this product. Honestly, my nails. These are the nails for this season. I'm really feeling like these nails are so freaking cute like i absolutely love these nail sets they are so pretty with the nude the french tip and then the pearls i've been having them on for a minute but um absolutely am loving this look so far so i am going in with my um morphe palette um this is the that's rich palette the 8r i'm going i'm going in with with these shades of browns and just because i think they are so pretty to bring in fall colors of course fall colors are like browns oranges greens i might add a little green in there a little orange in there i might do a little look but let's you know what as a matter of fact let's get creative i think i want to get a little bit more creative bringing this in so i think i am going to use a little bit of of fall colors but in a different way so let's let's go ahead and do that um i'm gonna go in with the bright color here the this tan brown with my thank me um later by elliot eyeshadow primer and this is the thank me later and this is my eyeshadow primer that i like to go in with with this eyeshadow primer I'm 
I'm really trying to like try different shapes when it comes to my eye shape a very sultry look so i'm gonna do a creative sultry fall look just because i've been into the sultry looks i am a sultry girly i absolutely love it it gives fierce it gives sexy i i just honestly really like it that out and bring that in I'm going to go in with this darker brown. I honestly, I really feel like a key to a good sultry look is making sure that you have a lot of like browns, a more of shadow shades than anything. I really feel like adding those contrasts of those shadow shades, it really helps the look come together. This tiny fluffy brush because I want to get deep into the corners of my eye. And when I'm applying my eyeshadow, my, usually I'm letting my brushes do all of the work. In order to get the color really, really pigmented, you have to go in with a light hand. Look how the shape is already forming so nicely around the eyes. And of course, you can always go in with darker shades, darker colors to deepen it up. But now I'm going to go in with a darker color out of this palette. I'm going to go in with this darker bronzer color. And it's like a darker brown. Also, if you're really close, you know what I'm saying? If you're tilting it, if you're doing anything like that, the way you hold your tools and stuff like that can determine how your makeup looks come out. So if you want to even make up look, you want to make sure that if you're holding it straight right here, you're holding it straight on the other side too. Because however you do it, that's how it's going to turn out. So if you want things to be even, you have to make sure that you're angling yourself to be able to get those even or symmetrical. Makeup. If you ever got your makeup done and you see why people stand back and look, because sometimes being up too close on something, you can't really see where you need to to fix so you, sometimes you just gotta bag up that it's already given sultry the the form of the eye is already there like you can clearly see where i have that dark increase right in there and that's exactly what i want it's not really bold it's not it's just framing that point of my face and that's why i'm deepening up the crease it's in the crease but it's also sinuating and lifting my eye up as well so going in with the last darkest shade, I'm going to go in with this contour color out of this palette. And I'm using an extremely light hand with this. Okay, so let's get up close and personal. Um, I did go in with my Real Techniques. I absolutely love these brushes. I'm really starting to love Real Techniques. And also, I just got my Morphe palette in, and I seen that Real Techniques honestly came out with a new, um, some chrome <laughs> Real Techniques. I feel like you see me. <laughs> I feel like you see me. Um, I don't know if it's like a Morphe collab, because I know Morphe always has that, like, eccentric, that, that chrome type of aesthetic that futuristic type of aesthetic but for real techniques to come out with their own affordable brushes and still have that aesthetic i feel like it gives for me i feel like i'm definitely i'm definitely going to get it honestly i wouldn't even mind being a face of like morphe or or doing a collab with morphe i wouldn't mind doing a collab with morphe but i honestly wouldn't mind being the face of like being in the face of Ulta or anything like that like I would not mind being the face of a brand of course you know I would love to be the face of my own brand I'm always the face of my own brand but to collab with another brand and be the face of their brand it's just it's one of the many things that I have on my bucket list to do my um OG palette and this is my opposites attract by elf I'm gonna go in with the shade wise I'm feeling like 
this is where I'm getting a little creative because I have not did it look like this, but I feel like this would be so, so pretty. I'm going to take this green shade and I'm going to pack this green shade on the open spot of my lid. And when I'm packing this color on, it has to be like super light handed because I do want it to blend in with that brown color. And it's just a small space, so fluffy brush is fine. And I'm gonna add as many layers as I feel. And I'm just gonna take the rest of that and kind of fluff it out. With that darker shade that I use and just kind of blend in that green and really get some definition in there. Like, look at that. And don't mind this, I think it's a star in my eye, but honestly, I'm not really quite sure what the fuck it is. Cause I remember like, I only got a star like one time in my life. This will probably be the second time I've ever gotten it. Look so far but it's missing something it's definitely missing something so you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab my emerald palette and i'm going to add some sparkle because i just feel like it needs it i'm going to need a dense brush okay so the brush is there because i feel like these two colors is going to just make the eye pop i'm going to go in with galaxy first which is this darker green here i'm going to go in with this one first and when I'm using shimmers, I don't just tap it. I like to drag the shimmer onto the eye. And the reason why I'm using Galaxy first, because I just feel like it blends in with that brown. So I always go in with a dark shimmer first, just to get everything to blend. And then I go in with a lighter shimmer, color Monumental. And this is a fairly lighter green, but I feel like on top of that galaxy color, the darker green is gonna make the eye pop. So let's see. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah, I already did the base. I want to show you that it how even it is already. Um, both sides are already even, but this part is so crucial. So I'm going to show you again when it comes to the darker brown, where you want to place that darker brown. Because see, sometimes you have to turn and get the angle of the eye. Like I didn't have to turn this way to get the angle of the eye. But this on this side, I have to turn to get the angle of the eye and as you can see i'm going really low on lower than the crease on this because i want to make sure that i'm going lower on the crease so i can have more room to blend those other colors back in so i'm going extra lower on the crease to cut that crease in in the inner corners I'm telling you the lighter you are with that hand i'm telling you babes the absolute better you will become just dragging that color out something one thing i noticed when using a stippling brush such as this one this is my kabucha kabuchi stippling brush when i'm just going in like this it gives for a less coverage. But when I start to go in and drag it, which you never should do that, but it gives me a more full coverage. 
you should never drag your foundation on your face. <laughs> ever. Ever, 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 ever. Like ever. Don't ever drag it. Now the main thing I love about this Kat Von, this J. Dot Cats um, cream palette, I'm absolutely a cream girly. And I didn't know how much of a cream girly I was till I started using cream products. The blend, when I tell you, the blend is already full coverage. It's already full coverage. And it's so much things you can do with cream contour. You can build it up. You can blend it out. It's not really heavy on the face as well. Like, it looks good. It lays good when you add your powders and different stuff on top. I like to go in with a bright uh, neutral shade, the same color as my skin. Then I like to go in with a brightener as well. I like to go in with a brightener and just go in with that with the rest of the product that's on it. For me. Because I like to layer my creams. I like to layer the colors I have in my face, period. But when I just found these creams, it gave me that. It, it gave me everything. My flexibility back into my makeup. Because it was able, I was able to blend out the colors. I was able to, you know, use my colors, the colors that I needed. And I was able to use as, um, as much product as I need to without being too cakey because sometimes you can apply too much concealer, you can apply too much product when, you can apply too much products when it's liquid. But when it's creams, it's buildable. It's more, to me, it's more buildable. It's more buildable when I'm using creams. Not like I just feel like it gives my nose the slimness where I need it and then I'll go in and and then go right down. Okay, I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend this out. This is a first because I don't ever use my beauty blender to blend out anything. But I wanna see what my beauty blender, if I'm still as cold with my beauty blender as I was before. And it looks like I still am. It looks like I still got it. I'm just using the back side of this beauty blender. I like to bring it up when I'm doing my blending right in here. get it right in here so my camera honestly I'm using my phone and I need to get I need to get more storage I really just need to update and invest and get me some more stuff but my storage went out like my storage was so full so I had to I had to clear my storage in order to make the rest of the video but I'm going in with blush and I'm using my Morphe blood, my Morphe brush, my Morphe angle brush. And I'm just applying my brush from my Morphe palette. And this palette is the 8F and this is Fair Play. And I'm just doing my blush. And also the key to my blush, I like to, lately I've been liking to go on my forehead baby i ain't ever applied blush on my forehead but applying blush on my forehead in the usual places i don't usually apply my blush is just starting to give for me powder that i'm going in with is my maybelline fit me and this is in the shade neutrally natural i really like this because it already has hints of yellow in it. So when I'm able to blend it out, 
it already gives me what I'm looking for. I'm not patting it too much into my skin. Okay, so this is the finishing look. Um, I will do a blending tutorial so you guys can see a little bit more of the blending process. But I just want to show you the eye look and do a creative fall eye look today. I really enjoy this look. It is so beautiful. To like, comment, and subscribe down below because I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did making it. Don't forget beauty is not to be judged but to be celebrated because living is truly a lifestyle. Now... See you girlies and guys next time and be kind to yourself, be kind to others and have a great day. Bye.